Well, there are people we come across while making this program who leave a lasting impression on us. And the family you're about to meet are a perfect example of that. You've probably never heard of Pat and Bert Howard, but for many years, something extraordinary has been happening in their humble suburban home. Jackie Quist has their story. Ready? <laughs> One, two, three. Every child needs a family and should have a family. It should be a birthright. And there are so many children out there that don't have this. Are you going to talk to him, Marley? Squeeze in tight in here. Come on. They've been married more than half a century. Surrounded by grandchildren, these are the golden years for Pat and Bert Howard. Together they've raised an extraordinary family. 17 children from around the globe. It was just like any other family. The difference is, is that extraordinary parents. And mum and dad, they didn't have to adopt kids. You know, they had Shane. Shane, the Howard's only biological child. Then along came Jamie, adopted locally in Tasmania. They had money, they had property, they had a business. They gave all that up to adopt kids. There's only the quick and the dead in this house. <laughs> and I think they've all learned to be very quick. When we first met the Howards in 1987, they'd adopted 10 orphaned children from countries like New Zealand, Thailand, Korea and Vietnam. Yard by yard, the Marines drive them back through the burning remnants of Michan Village, another casualty of the war. I know that I came out in, at the end of the Vietnam War, the fall of Saigon. The people here were herded into groups. All they could take was hand luggage. Fifty at a time, they took off for the carriers waiting in the South China Sea. He uh, came in a GI shoebox, that's how he travelled. He was so small. Newborn baby Heath was dying and lucky to be part of Operation Baby Lift, a mass evacuation of children from war-torn South Vietnam via cargo planes. He almost died. So he was, and he was put straight into hospital here and uh, the paediatrician said, to me, don't expect to bring him out. Now aged 38, Heath has his own family and is especially close to his brother, Jean-Pierre. Tiny and malnourished, the 34-year-old was also saved from certain death by the Howards. I knew I was getting on a plane to go to Australia, and I didn't know what Australia was or who I was going with, but I knew that me and my sister were going away from Mauritius. One of five adopted boys and 11 girls welcomed with open arms into the Howard's modest three-bedroom suburban home. Meals were a, a, an assembly line. They had to make their beds, cut their lunch before they went to school. This lounge room that we're sitting in was divided in half and that had three beds in. And uh, we got downstairs and yes, there was always at least three in a bedroom. How did you provide for such a large family? Well, I used to work two or three jobs. Uh, that way I wasn't home very often. <laughs> we had a Nissan E20 bus. And every fortnight I used to go up to the baker's shop and I used to buy day-old bread, which was 10 cents a loaf. And they'd laugh at me because I used to take 80 or 90 loaves back to work. <laughs> Former racing enthusiast Bert, the quiet backbone of his huge family adopting children an expensive business, so Bert sacrificed one beloved car after another. I had a GTHO. Well, that paid for Latoya and Jean-Pierre to come out. Uh, I had a Lola sports car, which we sold, which paid for two more to come out. <laughs> it just went on and on and on. Pat's devotion to her brood earning her a swag of accolades, including an Order of Australia medal, Tasmanian of the Year award, and in 1996, she was pronounced Australia's Mother of the Year. They're wonderful kids. I love them all. And Bert for putting up with me. Well, Pat and Bert were the pioneers of inter-country adoption. They had to fight all the way with government bureaucracy and going through the courts and appeals. That's a beautiful photo of your mum at Government House. Family friend Linda McKenzie helping Pat yeah, pen her paper? memoirs, ensuring every oh. child's story is preserved for That's future generations. Well, words can't describe them. They're wonderful parents. 
They've got an amazing family and they've done so much for families who've wanted to adopt from overseas. Their children keen to pay tribute to the parents who saved them, welcomed them long before our multicultural society was formed. How blessed do you feel to have, to have had them as parents? Very, very lucky. Very, yeah. An amazing effort. You know, I couldn't think of having 16 kids of my own. Um, I think it's hard enough with two. I don't regret a single thing. Say cheese! An incredible family, and you can read more about the Howards on our website.